So Concern Dave announced recently a whole new series of Stardew Valley concerts, which is just so incredibly exciting. So in honor of this, let's rank every single song. Yes, all 100 songs. Hello my friends, my name is Sapphire and today we are back with a ranking video. And today, I really wanted to explore the music of Stardew Valley, because I feel like it's just so memorable and iconic. I mean, they are doing a concert series, so obviously it's very well liked. So today, we are taking a look at every single song and ranking them all. And I've seen nobody else do this before, I guess because everyone else is too scared to critique some of the songs, but I'm not scared. So we're gonna start from the very bottom and work our way up to the very best of the best. Now for a disclaimer, there is no bad song, but there are a lot of songs and some will have to go at the bottom while others are at the top. So without further ado, let's get into it. Patrick, do you know what this thing is? Stinky. So the bottom tier, and our bottom tier is called The Witch's Swamp. Not my favorite songs off the track, usually songs that I might skip when I listen to the soundtrack, which for the record, a couple years back, I was in the top 1% listeners for the soundtrack, so clearly I'm a big fan. <laughs> and without further ado, our 100th song is Festival Game, followed up by Fun Festival. And it's kind of ironic that my two least favorite songs are both kind of similar and based around the festival vibe. I especially just despise the countdown clock ticking of Festival Game. I, I really just dislike time trial mini games, and this song just reminds me that I'm on a deadline and I have to like finish the mini game. Um, and so I don't like it. Following up that is Band Practice, which is Sam's band's warm-up song, which, I mean, there are better Sam's band songs, so we'll get to those later. Jaunty is just okay. Dreamscape is just plain weird and reminds me of the weird Emily fever dream sequence. Load Game is a pretty song, but I'm never on that screen too long to ever listen to it or really thoroughly enjoy it. And that is already our bottom row done. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, let's move on to our next tier. Who are you? I'm Pam. Who are you? I'm the owner of this house. Songs that I forget exist. Again, not because they're bad, but they're not the most memorable to me. And first up in this category is the flower dance. Again, not one of my favorites, and I usually just associate it with me getting rejected brutally at the flower dance in my playthroughs, just watching all of the happy couples dancing and me just forever alone like Clint. I'm also putting the Adventurers Guild and Museum themes here. They just don't quite do it for me, and they also sound pretty similar. I'm also putting the Starter Valley Fair, Wedding Celebration, and the Zuzu City Express theme song into this category too. And as a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever actually watched that particular movie in the theater. Coming in at 88 is Gasty Galleon from the Junimo Kart game. It's a pretty neat song, but one I just wouldn't have on repeat. And lastly, I will put Professor Snail's radio and settling in into these categories. It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. To the salon! All right, we are moving up in the world. These are the songs that I largely feel pretty neutral on. And buckle in, we have a lot to go through in this category. Summer the Sun Can Bend in Orange Sky feels very sluggish like an actual hot day, and it just isn't my personal favorite of the summer tracks. Meanwhile, Mystery of the Caldera actually might be a pretty underrated song, but I just have nowhere else to fit it really on this list. So we're putting it there, unfortunately. I'm also putting A Golden Star is Born, Country Shop, and potentially controversial, but the overture. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Again, nothing against this song. I just, it's pretty iconic. It's obviously very iconic, but there are far better songs to go through in this list. The theme also goes for the Pelican Town theme and Distant Banjo. Also in this category, I'm putting Mine's Crystal Bells, Mine's Magic Shoes, and Mine's Star Lumpy, since there's just better Mine songs coming up later in this video. And speaking of themes, the Wombus movie theme is actually pretty catchy, but just not my favorite out of all the movie themes. 
Same goes for the opening title for Junimo Kart. And lastly, I'm gonna throw in the Volcano Mines Forgotten World theme in here, just because there are definitely way better Volcano Mines tracks coming up. And I'm entitled to my- why are you entitled, Holly, and not me? You're entitled to your wrong opinion. That's fine. Our next section of songs is the category Gosh Concerned Ape, You Made Too Many Bops, I'd rank these higher but there are just so many iconic songs to go through. Yeah, honestly, on my re-listen of the soundtrack, I didn't realize just how many memorable songs there were in this game. Of course, we love Tropicala and Nature's Crescendo, but there are truly just so many beautiful songs on this playlist, and it was just so hard to rank them. So coming in at 72, we have Playful, followed by Music Box Song, Emily's Dance, and again, maybe controversial, but the spring, it's a big world outside theme. Coming in at 68 is Cloud Country, because it's a good song, but it also reminds me of waiting room music. Followed by that is the Luau Festival, Winter Festival, The Mermaid Song, Junimo Kart Slow Shroom Grotto, and Junimo Kart Slomps Stomp. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Coming in at 62 is the Journey of the Prairie King Outlaw song, followed by Exploring a Vibrant World, and then Sam's Band Electronic, which is probably the weakest of Sam's Band songs. Trust me, if you guys know, there are way better songs to cover later on this list. At 59, we have Alex's Keepsake, followed by Mind's Danger, Lava Dwellers, Shane's theme, sorry to the Shane fans, Emily's theme, sorry to the Emily fans, <laughs> and Leah's theme, sorry to the Leah fans. These ones just aren't my personal favorites, and there are way better uh, Bachelor and Bachelorette themes later in this video, I promise. At 53, we're gonna put Junimo Kart Gem C Giants, and at 52, we have Spring, The Valley Comes Alive, a perfectly average song to welcome in the spring season. And then lastly, in this category, I am putting Buttercup Melody. All right, we're officially halfway there. Whoa! Anyway, I'm sorry. So we're at the halfway point for our ranking now, and these are just songs in the middle that I'd rank way higher if there aren't already just so many good songs. And starting off with Winter Nocturne of Ice, the Happy Junimo theme show is pure wholesome guitar action, and I love it. I'm also putting Caroline's tea song here, the violin solo, and mine's Marimba of Frozen Bones. I'll also put Echoes, which is Sebastian's theme at 43, it just honestly doesn't quite do it for me, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this because I feel like it just doesn't fit Sebastian's personality that much. Following that is Winter Ancient and Mind's Icicle. I love the use of synthesizer in this song, it is totally a favorite for sure. Spring Wild Horseradish Jam feels light and fresh as the season itself, this is definitely a great one. And following that is Mind's Liquor in the Deep. And then at number 40, I am putting Volcano Mines Molten Jelly. I especially love how the overall vibes of this one just feel oppressively hot, just like the Volcano Mines probably do. I can practically feel the heat radiating off this song. It's just so good. Following that, I am putting Journey of the Prairie King Overworld, a great introduction song to the fun minigame. Next is Leo's song, followed by Crane Game, which is such a good song, but the best part is halfway through when the music speeds up and gets super intense when you snatch the prize. It's just great. I'm putting Sam's Band Pop, followed by Sam's Band, Sam's Band Bluegrass. Say that one five times fast. And at 32, the Star Trek Saloon theme. And at 33, the Wizard theme. Albeit a little repetitive, but just an iconic song, but an equally hilarious moment for the early game. And following that, we have some Bachelor and Bachelorette theme songs, including Penny's theme, Elliot's theme, and Haley's theme, Pickle Jar Rag. I don't know, again, if this necessarily fits Haley's character, but it's certainly really cute. Then we have Star Watcher, which is Maru's theme, one of the more beautiful songs in this game, followed by a sad song, Alex's theme, which, of course is very sad. <laughs> Concerned Ape especially just really nails those melancholic and sad songs on the track, and this one just takes the cake for sadness. And then up next is the Calico Desert theme, which is just so iconic for a area theme song, followed by the movie theater, which is just so freaking catchy and upbeat. I adore this song from the soundtrack. 
And then a 25 and putting the Gourmand's Frog Cave song because tell me why this is such a bop for literally the smallest, tiniest section of the game. Does he deserve it? Yes, he does. This song is a bop and he deserves to have a song that is just this freaking good. And then followed by that is In the Deep Woods and Smell of Mushroom. At 22, I am putting the Grapefruit Sky Pasta Primavera mix, which I also didn't realize were two separate songs and got me very confused when making this list. <laughs> but this one is just so catchy and I love this one so much. This is from the 1.4 soundtrack. I'm not sure what actually scene fits with this song, but it's really cute and adorable and I freaking love it. And just below my top S rank tier, we have the Gold Star Cauliflower tier, which these songs are truly some of the best in the game, just not the top 10 Iridium quality songs. Starting off at 20 with A Dark Corner of the Past. It's a very short song, but in my opinion, very memorable for its unique melody. This one's really, really pretty. Followed by that is the Mind's Cloth theme, which is probably one of my favorite themes of all the Mind songs. And at 18 is the Ginger Island main theme, and I just love this one, especially for the use of the steel drum in this one. It's tropical, it's catchy, and it is just so fitting for one of the cooler locations in the entire series. At 17 is Grandpa's theme, an adorable piano solo from one of the more bittersweet cutscenes in the game, where you finally put Grandpa's soul to rest. Coming in at 16 is Sam's Band Metal, the best of the Sam's Band songs. This one just goes way too hard and makes me wish Concerned Ape did more heavy metal music in his themes because he honestly excels so well at that style. At 15, I'm putting the Spirits Eat Festival because this is such a fun Halloween song. And at 14 is the Summit Celebration because this song definitely is the epitome of an achievement song. It's a great upbeat tune that a fun fact I have never actually listened to in the game. Maybe someday I'll hit perfection. I won't. At 13 is Go Synth. And at 12 is Mind's Visitor to the Unknown. I especially just love the ghostly wails you can hear in this one. It's just so eerie and fun. Whenever this song comes on a Skull Cavern, I know it's gonna be a good time. And our last song in this category is Raven's Descent. I was really torn between this one and The Smell of Mushroom, but ultimately, I really just love the use of the raven and wind sound effects, making this, for me, the ultimate fall theme. This song also reminds me of a song from Avatar The Last Airbender. Not sure why, but it's a really cool song for that reason, too. On one side, perfection. Another side, perfection. Third side, perfection. Perfection. And the top tier, the star drop tier, these are the ultimate bangers, my absolute favorite songs from the soundtrack. Let's talk about them. Should I do a Miss Mojo voice for this part? Coming in at number 10, we have Journey of the Prairie King, final boss and ending. I'm just kidding, I won't do that for the rest of the songs. <laughs> but yeah, this song just is the perfect ending theme to a fast paced cowboy wild west adventure and Honestly, it's just so good. Winter the Wind Can Be Still is probably one of the more melancholic songs on the entire soundtrack, but I just can't get enough of it. It's just so beautiful, and honestly, Concerned Abe really nails the feeling that you get when it's winter and when it gets dark out really quickly and it's just so cold and you feel lonely, he just nailed the vibe of winter in that song. And for that reason, number nine. And at number eight, unironically, the Pirates theme. This song goes so hard, you guys. This song makes you want to just drop everything and become a pirate. I also love the little parrot squawks in the background. It just adds so much to this Ginger Island track, making it so memorable. And at seven is Nature's Crescendo. And I want to take a minute here to just talk a little bit about Concerned Ape and just the man behind the music for a minute. 
because I'm not quite sure how many of you just realize how talented he is and the fact that he composed every single song. He not only composed, but literally learned how to compose music for each song. In some previous Reddit threads, he's mentioned that he has no actual formal music training except for some percussion in middle school and some guitar in high school. And he's said he's never learned to read music or took any music theory classes or anything like that, which just makes these songs just that more incredible and amazing to me. Like, I need to know your secret because <laughs> it's just incredible that you can take different songs and different instruments and be able to make music that sounds like spring, sounds like summer. It's just incredible. But anyways, I want to just take a minute there to just give credit to Concerned Dave himself. I know I am ranking your songs if you're even watching this video. Eric? Can I, can I call you Eric? <laughs> just thank you for making these songs and for, of course, making Stardew Valley because it has changed my life and has changed so many people's lives with the characters and the music and everything about it. Um, so thank you. Alright, back to the ranking now, with number 6, the submarine theme. Again, I'm not sure what it is about the songs in the game that have such a small part of the overall story, but the submarine theme is just so beautiful and serene and, and just plain relaxing. I love the little bubbles you hear in the background, and as you're fishing in the submarine, of course, it just is so fun. It's a cool song, I just love it so much. For a lot of these songs that have a really small section of the overall game, for instance, the submarine theme or even the Gourmand's Frog theme, you can really tell that Concerned Ape just put his entire heart and soul into composing the most beautiful, unique songs. And it really shows. Coming in at 5, we have the closing theme for the movie theater, which just narrowly beats out the original theme. I just love the piano in this one, making it so airy and light. What else can I say? I just love this song so much. Now, this next one was really hard. I mean, honestly, the next four, I... They're all so good. They're all number one to me. But at four is Abigail's theme, A Stillness in the Rain. It is just so beautiful and a great use of the flute instrument for this song. I don't know if the song makes me want to dance in the rain or a tender renaissance fair or both, but it is just so beautiful and I never skip this cutscene for that reason. And at number three is Tropicala. I mean, you guys saw this one coming. Obviously Tropicala. I think it goes without saying that this song is a certified bop. Once summer starts and I hear Tropicala, I know it's going to be a great season. And at two, also from summer, is Dance of the Moonlight Jellies, which is just a beautiful slow song that perfectly encapsulates the wonders of summer and the start of a new season. And honestly, the only reason why I always go to the festival at the end of the month is to hear this song and to also read one of my favorite lines from the entire game. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry toward the great unknown. One is the night market. There is just something so beautiful and serene about night market. Concerned Ape seriously has such a talent for composing music that feels like the season it's in. And this song is no exception. The sleigh bells sprinkled in just give it that extra magic. This festival is only here for three days. And when it's gone, it's gone. So enjoy the magic and whimsy of the night market while you can. This theme is seriously one of the best in the entire game. Yeah, this is just one song that I can have on repeat for the entire day and just be totally satisfied, making it just, in my opinion, my favorite theme from the entire game. And there you have it, 
all of the Concerned Ape songs ranked in this one video. But yeah, that will do it. I appreciate you all for watching and hanging out with me today. Thank you again for all of the support. I super appreciate you all for sticking around, especially after my uh, barista video kind of like went insane. So if you guys found me from that video, hi, it is so good to have you here. Thank you all for subscribing. I really appreciate you guys. I do have a brand new 100 days challenge video in the works so stay tuned for that but anyways i'm signing off for now i will see you all in the next video bye friends